Rick Azar Biography Ricardo E. Carbalada, 1929-2021, better known as Rick Azar, was an American broadcaster who spent 31 years at WKBW-TV in Buffalo, New York. WKBW-TV Career Rick Azar began his career at WHLD radio station in Niagara Falls in the early 1950s. Prior to coming to WKBW, Azar was an actor and musician in New York City, as well as a staff announcer for NBC in New York. Rick Azar was the first voice heard on WKBW-TV on November 30, 1958. The station was located at 1420 Main Street in Buffalo, New York, and the call letters stood for well-known Bible witness. Azar signed the station on with the words, Ladies and gentlemen, WKBW-TV Channel 7 is on the air. The first broadcast on that snowy night was the James Cagney classic film, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Azar did not become sports director at WKBW until 1965 when the station's original sports director, Stan Barron, was effectively traded to cross-down rival Ben TV in exchange for weatherman Tom Joles, while Irv Weinstein moved over from AM 1520 to become news director. Azar, Joles and Weinstein held their respective positions until Azar's retirement in June 1989. Azar also hosted Buffalo Bandstand, a local franchising of American Bandstand, and on at least one occasion substitute hosted the national show in place of Dick Clark. Rick Azar, Irv Weinstein, and Tom Joel served as the longest-running news anchor team in the nation. Azar also served as a color analyst on WKBW's, now WWKB, radio broadcast of the Buffalo Bills games, play-by-play -play man on the Bills preseason games televised on WKBW-TV and an intermission host on Buffalo Sabres hockey games televised in the 1970s on CH7. Azar also did basketball play-by-play -play on St. Bonaventure basketball games on CH7 during the Bob Lanier era. Azar doing radio in North Carolina. Azar lived in Pinehurst, North Carolina with his wife Edith and hosted a weekly jazz radio program on WLHC-FM Life 103.1 through at least the late 2000s. Personal Life Born Ricardo Efren Thomas Aquino Carballada de Babylon, Azar was a graduate of St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute and Canisius College. His brother, Carlos Carballada, briefly served as interim mayor of Rochester, New York in 2011 and currently serves as Rochester's Commissioner of Community and Economic Development. Azar wrote a memoir, Tales from Azar's Attic. Azar died March 25, 2021 at age 91.